The Kardashians are notorious for sharing it all with the world, but there are some things the family does stay silent on. Their vulnerability when it comes to sharing their lives is what makes the Kardashians so well-loved by fans. Considering how incredibly famous the entire clan is, when they finally choose not to share something on Keeping Up, the public definitely notices. Even if they can hide the drama from the reality show, most of the time they still can't hide it from social media posts or paparazzi photos, where we see it all unfold anyway. We can't help but be curious whenever they are secretive and wonder why they're hiding certain things. Travis and Kylie We've never seen Travis appear in a confessional or even on the show in general, and no Kylie-Travis relationship drama is ever mentioned. This is intentional. The rapper likes keeping his personal life low-key even when dating one of the most famous girls in the world. I know he doesn't like the attention, Kylie told GQ in 2018. That's why we just go the extra mile to keep our relationship super private. Kylie's relationship with Travis is very different from Kylie's relationship with other rapper X Tyga, which was made very public. Northwest Northwest has become a regular Keeping Up fixture, but when she was first born in 2013, Kim didn't plan on having her in the show. She didn't want to expose her daughter to being scrutinized by the entire world the way her and her sisters have been. Now North and the rest of the Kardashian kids make appearances on Keeping Up, but they're kept as minor characters, not given confessionals, and none of the drama is ever really centered on them. Kim Ye Marriage Issues We've all seen the Kim Ye marital issues go down super publicly through social media, which is why it's a little surprising that Kim keeps so much mum about it on the show. None of his infamous views on slavery, controversial tweets, run for presidency, or inappropriate political rally comments that blew up on the internet were ever really discussed on camera. Kim explained in confessional, It's no secret that everyone sees things in the media about my life with Kanye, but I've always been really respectful and not talking about issues that Kanye and I have. Eunice Courtney's almost two-year-long relationship with French model Eunice Benjamin became a major source of conflict among her and her sisters. We noticed you were out with a certain someone. So that's your boyfriend? During the reunion episode, Chloe said, Courtney wouldn't even let us mention. We were frustrated that we couldn't even talk about what Courtney was doing. Remember, Courtney did share nearly everything about her relationship with Scott on earlier seasons. She stated on the reunion that publicly sharing so much may have negatively affected their relationship relationship, so she might have a legitimate reason why she chose to keep it private. Kylie's Pregnancy Kylie Jenner's pregnancy reveal was one of the most iconic events of 2018. She notoriously kept the baby news hidden from the entire public and even from the producers of the show. She discovered that she was pregnant while filming Life of Kylie. A producer found out from a family member, not Kylie herself, and didn't think the news was real. I thought they were trying to set me up, the producer told Variety. Jenner kept the pregnancy to herself to prepare for motherhood in a positive, stress-free, and healthy way. Kendall's Boyfriends We've never heard anything about the boys that Kendall has been linked to over the years. Harry Styles, Ben Simmons, Blake Griffin, Devin Booker, none of them. There's a reason Kendall's kept so tight-lipped. She wanted to figure out in private if they were legitimate or not. An executive producer recently revealed to the Daily Dish podcast, Kendall's always had this rule. She just felt that she had to be with someone for at least a year before she lets them be a part of the show, because she doesn't always know what people's intentions are. The 818 founder recently celebrated her one-year anniversary with NBA beau Devin Booker. We wish we could have met him on the show. Rob's Absence Rob's notably been more and more absent over the years, even though he used to be a staple on the show. In recent seasons, he's nowhere to be found. In 2019, Kim explained his disappearance. He has his moods. Sometimes he's like, look, I didn't sign up for this. And then he's like, I'm cool to do it. Rob has been working on his mental health and weight issues. He's not really active on social media and primarily is focused on raising his daughter, Dream. Kim and Chris So why did Kim and Chris Humphreys really get divorced? We'll never really know. You would think a marriage would have to be really bad for it to last only 72 days. But Kim assured everyone it was just over the little things. Although she wouldn't be specific. When asked by Oprah why she exactly left him, the CEO of Skim said, I think that's a little too personal. I don't want to get into that. 
Kim Ye wedding. Unlike Kim's 2011 infamously super public wedding with Chris, Kim's wedding with Kanye was not filmed for TV. Her main priority during the wedding ceremony was privacy. Guests weren't allowed to use their phone and also had to sign non-disclosure agreements. She stated in the reunion that part of why she got married in 2011 was because she felt pressure from the plans to film the wedding for the show. So having a private ceremony the next time around was the right choice. Kendall's Pepsi commercial. Kendall at first did not want to use the footage of her crying after facing public backlash from Pepsi's 2017 train wreck of a commercial. Kim urged her to use the footage to show the public what she was really going through. Kim told The Hollywood Reporter, We're not perfect, but you see these things in the media, like Kendall and where I see her at home crying. But in the media, she looks another way where she's not addressing it. It was a smart move. Showing Kendall crying was a good way to garner her sympathy from the public and lessen the online hate. Lamar's cheating. Chloe did eventually admit on the show that Lamar cheated on her during their marriage, but not before trying to hide it from the public and from everyone she knew. In 2014, she said on camera, I kept in hiding. Every time there was something going on, I would have to lie or conceal or cover up. She revealed that on her birthday, she had lied to everyone and said that she was with her husband when really he was off with another girl. She even gave up her Beyonce tickets to Kendall to go through with a lie. Giving up Beyonce tickets? We really feel bad for Chloe on this one. House exteriors. The exterior shots of the lavish houses we see on Keeping Up aren't actually where the Kardashians live. Kim revealed that they don't show their house exteriors for security reasons. My old home in Beverly Hills was really my home and I would get people showing up at all hours ringing my gate and I had to call the police on several occasions. The house we see on TV is actually 20 miles away from the Kardashians' real house. The interiors that they film in are all their real homes though. Tristan's original cheating scandal? We'll give it to Chloe. She shared a lot with us about her and Tristan's relationship woes. And his two major cheating scandals have been mega plot lines on the show. However, on the show, she has never confirmed or denied any of the rumors that she began seeing Tristan while he was technically still together with his social media influencer ex, Jordan Craig, who was pregnant with Tristan's first child, Prince, at the time. Tristan has adamantly denied these infidelity rumors. But you know, he's not exactly the most trustworthy person in our eyes. Chloe and Tristan have reportedly just broken up again amid another strand of cheating allegations. Ugh. Lamar's addictions. Chloe and Lamar looked like the picture perfect couple on their spinoff of Chloe and Lamar, but there was trouble brewing under the surface. Around the same time the show was being filmed was when Chloe first caught Lamar using. Lamar said in an interview, she was disappointed. So was I. I'm not going to say she accepted it. Tolerated would be a better word. Plastic surgery. If there's one thing everyone can agree on, it's that the Kardashians love plastic surgery. And not just the occasional Botox or lip fillers. We're talking major surgeries like PBLs, nose jobs, cheek implants, the list goes on and on. Fans believe they've had extensive work done to change the shape of their body and get that iconic hip to thigh ratio. Kylie claims that she's only had lip fillers and Kim insisted that her butt is real, even getting an x-ray to prove that there are no implants. However, fans still don't believe them. Kylie in an interview with Paper Magazine said, they don't understand what good hair and makeup and like fillers can really do. She did lie about getting those lip fillers before finally admitting to it in 2015. So TBH, she's not the most credible source. What topic do you most wish the Kardashians dared to talk about on camera? And are you sad that keeping up with the Kardashians has finally ended? Let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest and greatest in reality TV news.